Hey, howdy. How are you doing? We're back here at the famous uh, Adams Family panel, and today we have a shorted breaker, and I want to talk about today some handful of secrets for you guys to troubleshoot and not take two days to figure out what's going on. Come on in. I want to show you. Here's the intro. Here's what we're fixing today, which you're going to help me with. You ready? Here we go. And you notice I'm not going to flick it again because you don't have to do that, but it's a dead short. So hang on with me as we sort this out with a meter, not a screwdriver. So we're back at the panel and you guys saw this is breaker number five front bedroom and as it turns out a bunch of the house uh, hallway living room lights again it's a 1970s house there's a lot going on in this breaker but right away you notice i'm not going to keep trying to set it it doesn't short any less by tripping it it just wears the breaker out you're going to get your meter go to continuity and you're going to go from that hot on the breaker that's tripped you guys can hear that. So as a rule of thumb, whether it's here or it's on this bus, you should never, rule number one, you shouldn't have continuity normally between the hot and the ground. And you're gonna remember that because we're gonna go inside and use that continuity to figure out and narrow down where our short is instead of again, just pulling a thousand plugs out and wandering through people's house. So come along with me, we're gonna go inside. So here we are, we're inside. And you'll notice when you have a short, a dead short like the one we had outside, it's pretty easy to tell what plugs or devices are affected, right? Because they're going to be off. So, again, what you saw when we did continuity in there is we had continuity from hot to ground. So if we do this, if we go, and this is off, let's meter it out. Again, this is a classic. Oh, we're still showing continuity. Uh, just to check, we'll go here the voltage. Mm, whole lot of nada. Good. So, hot screws, ground wire. Go to, back to continuity. That's handy. Still have continuity. Again, we shouldn't have continuity, but you'll notice we have. Let me take these out. This is old. This is an old backstab, which we can take off by simply doing this. There we go. But you notice we have two pairs of wire. We got power in. We got power out. So, and we have our ground. But watch, if we want to see which direction to go, because the circuit in this room runs around this room, continuity. So, if I go this way, okay, no continuity. There we go. So, I can check this out, but it looks like the circuit, by the way, they're in the box, which isn't a guarantee that going this way has my short and then this side going back towards the panel does not okay um so we're going to move down the line but i want to rem remind you and this is what i'm emphasizing is you find that whole row of items and devices that's dead pick a spot near the middle and take your power apart in and out because right now i could put a wire nut on this reset that breaker and the power from everything back towards the panel would be on, which then leaves this side down for me to troubleshoot and work my way through. So in this case, if we have a whole bunch of devices, we could divide from this device in this room to the end, wherever we think is end of line. It doesn't have to be perfect. Divide it in half again and open it up. Again, you're not turning the breaker on and off. You're using continuity. Okay, between hot and ground, and then you can narrow it down. And it will save you a boatload of time. Also, this gives me an excuse to change a 50-year-old plug and update a part of uh, this, this house. Okay, so we're going to pick up. Um, we're going to go to the other side of the room now to confirm that the side that's clear is heading that way behind me back towards the panel. And then I think that'll be confirmed, and we'll head this way, the other direction. Again, you're using a process illumination with continuity uh, 
to find out where your short's at. Here we go, much better angle. Here's our two pair in and out, right? In this pair, this hot, we had continuity between this hot and the ground. And remember with the meter, we did not have continuity from this, this hot to, to ground. So um, that's how we know sort of dividing this in and out. And you can do that anywhere, choose a spot and work it back. And again, you're not having to walk back and forth to the panel. Um, so you can see this is an old Bakelite box. It's like a thick pre-plastic. Again, this house is built in the early 70s. So that's Bakelite, not my favorite. And then this bad boy right here. Look at all the different colors this has been painted. So originally it was ivory. Um, and they allowed the backstabs with up to number 12, uh, which they got rid of, I think, in the... Gosh, I want to say by the, the late 80s, early 90s, maybe mid-90s, they went to the for the stab 14 gauge only. Yeah, these things generated hundreds of thousands of dollars of business with troubleshooting. But there you go, and we're going to replace it with a modern tamper-resistant uh, receptacle there somewhere along the way. So there you go. That's what the inside of a 50-year-old box looks like. So here we are at a plug. This one's obviously been replaced, but we're going, we're going upstream because the panel is about 10 feet that way. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that this plug is before the ones that we've opened. So I want to confirm that now that we've opened that and we're clear that we're clear on this side too, that I'm moving the right direction. So I have continuity. It's tamper resistant. So I'm going to plug it, push these both in at the same time first, pull out this side and I don't have continuity. So if I still had continuity here, that would mean the short for some reason would be, would be on this end as well. But again, because of the age of the house and how things were wired, is super linear. In other words, I know that the power comes in here and runs this way around the room, goes to the other side of the room and then hits the living room. So right now we're gonna go to uh, the last plug that I opened and see what we have there. Okay, so for the sake of the exercise, I already opened this other ancient plug, and you'll see a ground wire right here against the hot. And so we're going to clear this now, and we'll go back over to the other plug. Again, something like this, not that obvious, but I've had ground wires rolled up for whatever reason they finally touched after 20 years, or sometimes in outside plugs. These older boxes are metal, and the plug's gotten loose and is banging over against the side and shorting out, okay? So now, just to complete the process, we're gonna to go to the plug upstream that we divided in half, and we'll put the meter on that, and we should have the ground or the short cleared. But we're, again, we're gonna determine that with a meter, not with resetting the breaker. Here you go, so the final step, if you think you've cleared that ground fault, so we're gonna come back to ground and the hot, I'm scratching around because sometimes you got carbonization or corrosion, and I don't have any continuity. Okay, so the pair that was uh, showed the ground fault is cleared now. Let's go to the other pair, hot. And again, the power is off, or I would be uncomfortable right now. Nothing there. So the fault is cleared. So at this point, we could go back outside, put the meter on the breaker to ground, and then measure from the breaker to ground and it, there'd be no continuity, which means we're cleared, then we could safely re-energize the circuit, and we're done. Here we are. Here's the proof of the pudding, circuit five. And again, we're not gonna start hammering this thing on. It should be clear. But I'm gonna use continuity. No longer, no continuity now. All right, we've closed up all the boxes. We've metered it out, so let's reset it. It's holding, and we're going to go to our AC volts. There you go. We're back at 125.2. So there you go. Use your meter. Stop banging on the breakers, homeowners and all that. So, again, leave me your comments. I want to hear some of your stories. I've seen some videos recently where people are going forever. But remember to click like, subscribe. Shoot me some more questions. Love your comments. See you on the next one.